Emily Liker, Syracuse Post Dispatch, oh, excuse me, Post Standard, joins us on 365 Sports with Paul Catalina, Craig Smoke. I'm David Smoke. And Emily, thank you very much for being a part of the show. How much uh, of a surge or momentum has Fran Brown given Syracuse football? Yeah, well, first, thanks for having me, you guys. Thanks for reaching out. Um, Fran Brown ha- has definitely uh, supplied a huge surge of momentum, particularly in, in recruiting here over this past two, three weeks that he's been around. Um, obviously, that's important just with early signing day right around the corner. So, um, looking up, certainly, for the Orange in, in recruiting, but across the board under Brown's leadership. Um, he's already made some of his staff hires, not quite all of them yet. Um but, yeah, yeah, big big surge of energy, a lot of excitement from the fan base, and, and things are looking good. So Kyle McCord uh, was 11-1 at Ohio State. He's on his way to Syracuse. This is a huge boon for Fran Brown uh, and the staff. How did this come about with Kyle McCord at Syracuse? And no offense to Syracuse, but, you know, that that's a bit of a change from Ohio State. Yeah, you know, I – McCord, I don't know a ton about McCord's reasoning for, for coming yet. We haven't obviously been able to talk to him. Um, but I do know he's, he's a Philadelphia uh, area kid. He, he's from the New Jersey side there of Philadelphia. And so that's kind of the same region and area that um, Fran Brown is from, that a lot of the staffers that he's bringing in are from, that a lot of the other players we've seen commit to Syracuse since Fran Brown's been hired are from. So Certainly the regional ties, I think the situation coming in for him is good. Like It's not like he, he was transferring and, and risking losing a starting job by coming to Syracuse. Like He's going to be the guy here. And, and it sounds like from what we've heard of what Fran Brown wants to do with the offense, which is kind of more of a, a pro-style QB, very pass-heavy um, type, type situation, I mean, it sounds like McCord will fit that bill perfectly. Emily, correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, Jeff Nixon is expected to be the OC, at eventually named officially, right? But trying to finish out his NFL obligations, is that correct? Right. He he has been the name that's come up. I believe Pete Thamel from ESPN first reported it. I might be wrong, so don't hold me to that. But yes, Jeff Nixon is the guy who's come up. Um, I'm assuming we won't get an official announcement on that until closer to the end of the NFL season, or at least to the end of the Giants season. So they've been able to put together part of the staff, and as you mentioned, there's some, I guess, not distractions, but some conflicts right now. What about Fran Brown's personality? We got to see him, got to know him when he was here, and he just kind of infuses energy, but a quiet, at the same time, if this makes sense, kind of a calm, quiet confidence. Yeah, you know, I think I think that's a good way of putting it. I know one thing that a lot of the, the Syracuse fans and also the Syracuse media has been very excited about is just how transparent he is and what he wants to do with the program and, and what he thinks of the program and who he's going to be as a coach and who he wants his players to be. That's just, I think, really refreshing because I think towards the end of you know Babers' tenure, a lot of people were frustrated by just kind of Seemingly a lack of transparency, a lack of honesty around a lot of things, um, or not honesty, but forthcomingness about a lot of things. And so to have a guy like Fran Brown come in and just kind of be transparent off the bat, not act like he's needing to earn trust necessarily or, or trying to win you over, I think has been really refreshing. Their um, also other big hire was Elijah Robinson, a defensive coordinator coming up from Texas A&M, and that has put them in the mix, especially for some portal guys like Fadil Diggs, who's uh, going to visit there, a New Jersey guy. How big of, of, of a splash has, has Elijah Robinson made already? Yeah, you know, he, he's a big splash, and, and Fran made sure to announce him and make it clear how big of a deal he is right when, he was, when Fran was introduced, he brought up Robinson at his introductory presser and basically said, you know what, guys, we're not going to have this guy for long. He's going to go on and be a head coach somewhere else like I'm doing right now. So we got to take advantage of him while he's here. And you know what? There, There's quite a few linemen in the mix, quite a few defensive linemen, certainly, um, through the transfer portal and through recruiting that have clearly, I think, just been a result of Elijah Robinson and what he's able to do. So he, he has been just as big a splash. I'm 
excited to get to know him a little bit more. I know he's been up on campus doing some of the recruiting stuff, um, but he is still kind of with Texas A&M for the time being. So he's he's a little bit splitting time right now. How's that going to work uh, coming up later on this week, Emily, with the bowl game against South Florida? I mean, I guess your thoughts on that game itself, but I'm sure there's as many people just waiting for that to be over with so they can fully dive into this fun and exciting hire and, and off season more fully. But what's kind of the expectation about how they'll handle that in the midst of this transition? Yeah, so uh, the 2023 staff is, is handling the bowl game. So um, Nunzio Campanelli, who's another New Jersey guy and is actually being retained on Brown staff as we believe quarterbacks coach, who is tight ends coach this year. He's the interim ta- or he's the interim head coach and is leading the rest of the staff through this game and, and the, the team. Of course, the only coach there's only one coach that that's not sticking around for the game from the past season and otherwise it's kind of just they wanted to close things out um the right way in, in their terms and and brown's going to be around but he uh will will not be calling plays or anything like that emily syracuse has an amazing history when it comes to football but it's been spotty uh, you know you have mentioned that with dino babers who used to be on a staff at baylor as was fran brown when he was with the matt rule staff how much is football there with all the other things they have, like, for example, men's basketball, Bayheim's gone, but there's an incredible history there. I mean, my God, lacrosse or other sports that they're very good at, wrestling, et cetera. How much does football ring the bell there? You know, I, I think, honestly, it's um, kind of kind of a mix. You know, basketball hasn't been as great as it had been um, in, in a few years now, and so – I think a lot of the kind of excitement between all these sports has has spread out a little bit. Certainly, like like I said at the the top of our call, Mm -hmm. um, Brown's introduction is kind of reigniting that and seemingly bringing more um, energy to football. And so we'll see if that kind of maintains and carries all the way through next season. And we'll should take a look at what what attendance numbers are and stuff like that. But yeah, you know, honestly, I think right now a lot of Syracuse sports are in the same place in terms of fan base and, and support and that it's you got a lot of people who are really loyal and, and will watch them whatever and then you also got kind of a, a decent chunk of fans who have been frustrated the past few years and are hoping these new regimes can kind of bring them back into being full-fledged fans well uh emily you're gonna enjoy fran brown and elijah robinson and, and jeff nixon they're all great guys so uh you know congratulations on being a media member that gets to cover a, a nice coaching staff sometimes it doesn't <laughs> always happen that way <laughs> thank you emily. definitely looking forward to it i bet you are and you should thank you emily we appreciate your time and patience we ran a little bit late with you you're the best thanks for joining us emily liker syracuse.com also with uh, again the syracuse Post standard on Fran Brown. Great guy. 